Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 Vanilla, which we're playing with of course the Arms Against Tyranny DLC, which we're playing as Norway, but we're going down the stumbling, storting path. We saw a light at the end of the tunnel of political instability, but is now flickering towards further chaos. Despite the best efforts of Johan Nagarsvold, the start things in fighting is bringing it ever closer to chaos. And then we'll go to the Royal Chamberlain's Overture for this path. And eventually we'll do the fascist path sometime, but as a starting glimpse towards the relevance, a paragon of noble values, Baron Peter Oh Ankler uh Anchor Vedel Jarlsberg, second in line to the Führer County of Jarlsberg and Lord Chancellor of our humble King Hakon the Seventh, pauses that we should look to the past for the solution in the future. Namely, perhaps the royal apparatus can take control of the whole government. The Storting stumbles. Well, as war in Europe looms over ever more inevitable, the Norwegian Parliament, or Storting, is rocked by waves of chaos and discord. The, the indications that the Nygardsvold cabinet would bring forth an air of stability are long forgotten, as members of parliament can't even seem to agree on any coherent measure to steer Norway safely through the, through the coming storm. Meanwhile, the enemies of the people sharpen their knives to feast on the strife, growing until Norway is consumed by the flames of war. How fast will our fall be? We'll have to wait and see. As we've already got most of the stuff set up here, uh, but we've got several options. We can eventually restore the Kalmar Union, uh, proclaim Nordic unity, and restore the North Sea Empire. We'll see how we do. We might have to use Khan's commands in the end. I have no idea, just because I've never done this before. And Norway's not known as, a, you know, extremely strong. But we're led by Nygardsvold. We have a complacent cabinet. The fact that our guy managed to get a stable government is no small feat. Him and his cabinet seem to think that this was his last hurdle. But what they don't know yet is that it's only the first one of many. And it's hurting us quite badly. Obsolete armed forces. Norway's not taking care of their armed forces for a very long time, and now they would be a little more useful in a museum than in battle. The hard 30s. Oh, God. The Great Depression of 1929 is still felt in every household and business across Norway. It may need a miracle to make it past this decade. Anti-communist sentiment, which is good. The Soviet Union and Communists abroad have instilled fear in many Norwegians, to the point that fascism is comparatively not a real concern as long as they deal with the Red Menace and crumbling fortifications. In some cases, calling the fortifications would be generous. They're not a holy mothball, but they're not ready, uh, they're not ready for modern combat at all. Ah, and there goes Germany, no longer going to do what they want to do. The Royal Chamberlain's Overture. Despite King Hakon's insistence in upholding the independence of the Storting and letting it solve their issues internally, his Chamberlain, Peter Anker Vedel Jalsberg, is proposing the Norwegian crown to intervene in the dangerously unstable situation. Setting a vague threat of foreign invasion, he calls for the people of Norway to demonstrate their trust in the king all over the country and demand action from the sworn liege. He is the king's closest confidant and as well as a connected member of the most powerful noble family in Norway, so his development should prompt caution. What could be his agenda? And I do realize we do need a lot of war support, so we need more support for the monarchy no matter what. And we definitely want to assure the population pretty quickly. We can start rearmament. We're building in independent Norway. We have air stuff. We have naval stuff. And then we have formed the Nordic League. Nothing about an industry. Maybe except for restarting rearmament. Oh boy. Oh god. Uh, perhaps total disarmament is not the surefire way to avoid war, war we hoped. We better start preparations for possible attack on our lands. So, we can get more stability here, which wouldn't be bad, but... Um, hmm... Are there any other options? Occupied territories, military governor, local autonomy for now. The Ragon Regiment, because this requires support equipment, which we don't have. Uh, I don't mind getting more stability. Stability would be nice. Um, because after that, uh, modified attack, breakthrough, tank program, call supports, kickstart the military industry. Norway has been the subject of other nations for a long time and thus never developed an internal military industry. To protect our freedom, we must stop relying on other countries for our defensive production and start building up our own war machine. Ah, here we go. Ever since before his ascension to the throne, our humble king, Hakon VII, has deferred his powers to the Storting and his constituents. This was well and good at the time, but we must show him that we would support him seizing direct control of Norway before there's nothing to control. Three hundred manpower. The people of Ulsofjord need a reminder of the 1905 election and why they overwhelmingly elected this king to the position. I should demand the king's direct intervention in no time. These war sport ends, but oh god. Well, yeah, more land for it and coastal fort construction speed, huh? I want to connect them first together. Look at all the political power we're getting. Ease of conscription. Oh, look at this. Democratic powerhouse. Well, we're going to go non aligned. Infrastructure. War sport goes down. No, that's not good enough. Daily support for non aligned would be good. That's just lackey. 
Weekly man. Oh, that's not bad. I, we might do that. I don't know. We could, we're probably gonna need manpower. Honestly, I might choose them any, anyways. But I'm just very concerned about war support. Oh, who's this? Cannot be fired. Oh, that's just fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. So we're six out of thirty. Um, I guess we'll show the population next. It might seem like Norway is spiraling down towards doom, but the royal chancellor on behalf of the King Hakon the Seventh wants the population to know that the monarch could keep a steady hand and bring back the lands back to stability. You know what? We're gonna screw it. I want that. I want that with three hundred manpower because I just don't know if we're ever gonna have enough. Ah, oh, you know, we're going to screw ourselves over. Who needs war support? We do. Oh, God. But the political power, though. He's a conscription. Oh, if not selected within 100 days, the communists are out of civil war. Lose stability. Huh. Interesting. Oh, you want even more? Can you go negative for war support? How much, how much uh, total monarchy support do we need? For the AP... I need at least 12. So, is there any reason to do more than 12? Because this is going to take a long time to get down here. So, is it 12 or needs more than 12? Shield to the north, that's not bad. More than 70% war support. For this one, at least 12. So, we only need to do two more. I guess we have to ease up conscription, huh? Well, let's store all that manpower then. Because right now, we have infantry divisions, which are okay. This, this is probably the best one. We have been at our division, which are okay. I personally prefer this one, probably. But, I guess we'll go with that one. And then we have our Dragon Regiment, which is three. Which is okay, it's not great. So let's go and choose this one, since we'll get rid of it anyways. I don't want Kami to start a civil war. That'd be pretty bad for us, probably. Um, we could get more stability this way, too. Is that worth it, though? Do we get more stability anyways, or no? No, we're going to lose more stability. We'll lose more war support, too. We need more political power, though. Is that worth it? Stability, war support, support front aligned. Ah, it's 150, but well, we have enough. Ah, I'll do it anyways. We'll see what happens. If this doesn't go well, I'll always redo what we're doing here. So, because we do want to do promote weekly war sport, or promote the armed defense of Norway while active as much as we possibly can. I just don't know how much it costs. But right now we get point seven nine, which is almost point two five more than what we were starting with every day. We're 12 out of 30, which is good. I'm gonna build more civvies. We got two more millies. God. Hide that manpower as we're demobilizing. Um, let's get more daily army XP, that's good. And then send the storting home. Our national parliament has had a last gasp a long time ago. Keeping alive will strengthen or lengthen its suffering, and frankly ours too. Let the politicians go back home and spend time with their families, and the king's men will take matters into their own hands. Yeah, why not? Destruction? It's always good. Synthetic oil. We have literally no planes. That is not ideal. Um, maybe get some trucks? Oops. Oh, it's just generic. It has no MIO. Okay. <clears throat> More political power would be good. Would be very good, actually. Fascist harass Lev Trotsky. Huh. Well, a contentious revolutionary was out of a fishing trip with his host. Fascist connected to the National Assembly Party broke into Konrad Knudsen's home where Trotsky was staying. The burglars were looking for any incriminating evidence that would justify getting rid of the exiled communists, but they unfortunately scared off the property by the Knudsen's daughter, Jordis, before they could grab anything of significance. We must be kept away from the trouble. We could kill two birds with one stone. Get this man in office. He can join our cabinet. Now that's different. I have not seen that before. Embrace Trotskyism. Passes the evidence that we need to jail him. Or you do that one. Because I want to get rid of these. Alright, so where are we at? How much is this going to cost? 
Oh, only 60. We'll not be able to reach our political goals if the people are hungry. We must pause our monarchist crusade to take care of our subjects and their needs. So for 35 days, we get more weekly stability and consumer goods goes down. And when we're done and removed, we get better consumer goods and more construction speed. Because the hard 30s are just really hurting us. Good God, that's terrible. But make assurances to the people of Norway. It's a scary time in Norway for sure. So we must reassure the media that we will pull through and once on the other side, our gracious king will lead us to lead the change or charge for survival. Promote the armed defense of Norway. The people of Norway must be reminded of what will happen if they don't defend our country. Everyone must play their part in the coming conflict. Yes, and then... Oh. Yeah, we definitely have to keep spamming that one out because that one's the most important. Um, send the storting home. Let's see. Demand King Hakon's rise of power, but Norway's general crackdown on dissent. After the altercation at Knudsen's villa became clear of the political situation, it's fraught with peril thanks to the communists and fascists being in each other's throats. The bickering of political turmoil must be dealt with. Trotsky's presence brings the entire ire of the Soviet Union upon us, and at the same time, the National Assembly is sure to hand over the country to Adolf Hitler at the first opportunity, so their influence needs to be curtailed at any cost. Well, the best course of action is sitting in Mexico, where Lorazo Cardenas has agreed to allow him into the country. This is for the survival of Norway. Oh. Who needs stability? Thanks to the rousing speech by Baron Veldo Jarlsberg, the people of Norway clamor for a strong-willed monarchy to take over the reins of the government. The only problem is that the King Hakon VII himself keeps on emphasizing that the country should be governed by representatives of its people. It seems the king needs some convincing. This is going to more political power, get more stability, and more stability. Demand King Hakon's rest of power, of course. Um, let's search for political power. It's not good. Uh, this one's probably more important. The Crown's executive powers. As the king continues to reject any calls for him to wield absolute power, we have no choice but to grant him executive powers. When he wakes from his political slumber, he will have the tools to guide Norway towards glory. Oh, warning king. It's the king's duty, nay, his privilege to defend the lands that have been granted to him by the powers above. Let the armed force be the sort of absolute royal power, dormant until the king chooses to rise and wield it. And eventually we'll do the kingdom of Norway, but we're not yet, because we've got to get more uh, war support first. It is time, whether King Hakan knows it or not, let us peel away any pretension of democracy and people's rule and let the gauntlet of monarchy strike down our enemies to smithereens. The king will have no choice but to attend his own recrowning. Cool. Naval defense. Defense against major countries. You can edit the Kongan's men template. Retire this guy. Land auction cost goes down. Constriction loss goes up. Oh. Well, I guess technically land auction costs will go up. Constriction loss will go down. Um, what is this? As modified our independent Norway. Well, we should be independent-ish. Villain soon to the crown, eh? Because we'll do some other stuff around here too. Like, Harren's fly, fly with the bad. The new frontier of warfare is in the sky. If we let the enemy have total control over the airspace, our ground force will not be able to act effectively. Most of open air force can act in favor of our ground troops. What is this? Svorsvarat. Having one of the largest, longest coastlines in the world has its advantages, but also that means extra effort must be expended defending it. Our navy will be the first line of our nation's defense. Is there anything here, like, like we have to get form plane designs. I like Norwegian planes personally, but I'm not against it. What is this? Naval dockyard, spotting speed, battleship focus. Can we even build battleships? Naval experience gain, doctrine cost. Honestly, I probably just use like a bunch of subs. Yeah. This is probably the better one to go through. Spotting speed. Yeah. Or something like this. Um, coastal Fort's effectiveness. Droba Coastal Fort. Droba, or more specifically Droba Sound, could be the key to defending our capital. Yet, you never know when a well-placed torpedo could delay an invasion long enough to make the pre preparations needed to respond. So, this is technically me redoing Norway already. Uh, because focuses. Well, they kind of smash all together. Um, the Quisling Coup is still on this side for some reason. And so basically it's a lot harder to read anything we're doing here. But we're going to do the Kingdom of Norway because our royal claims, or at least the Shield of the North, need 65% or more war support. And we've just retaken, promote the armed defenses of Norway. So we'll see what happens. It is time, whether King Hakon knows it or not, let us peel away any pretension of democracy and people's rule and the gauntlet of monarchy strike down our enemies to the Mithrines. The King will have no choice but to attend his own recrowning. So instead of 75%, or 70%, we need 55%. Hopefully we'll get that when we get down there, but that's why we're taking forever for this stuff. Um, we'll appoint Prince Olaf to the army staff. Now that the royal family is on board with the project, we need to take advantage of their skills and put them to the task of defending our realm. We send Prince Olaf 
to the leadership of the army, we can guarantee he can lend his full training and experience and deal with our enemies on land. Oh, look at this. Sure, why not? Pretty cool. So we got planes, some basic planes. Get some even more basic planes, please. That'd be kind of nice. Now we change the flag too. Peter Anker Vedos Jarlsberg. Shrewd agent, huh? Hey, more stability though. And 61% no, war support now. Go figure. Um, this requires the Quisling's regime. Promote so, uh, civilian donations, huh? Like feudal five times of old, every vassal must pay their dues to the liege. Of course, those barbaric days are gone, or humble monarchic. The system is more land than that, so this tribute is largely voluntary. And then we'll need this one too. Special stuff here. Um, I'll let her done. Well, I can't do this one. Remote civilian donations. That's be good research funding. Our noble Norwegian rulers are dedicated to the Enlightenment, and so they're happy to be patrons for scientific advancement, needed for our dominion to expand through violence first, and eventually through benevolence alone. Happy 37, everybody. I still need to prop up the economy, so I was probably going to do that one next. Um, a decent amount of manpower. Consumer goods factors. Kingdom of Norway is looking pretty decent overall. We, we want more weekly stability too, so. And right now we get 0.83, which is not great. Fantastic. I'm not sure what type of land option we want yet. We'll see when we get there. Um, Germany did not end up in a civil war this time, unfortunately, as we saw earlier, but they're still level. Let's, let's get Adolf guy. And the Swiss Confederation is taking out Austria. Oh, and Italy's in a civil war. Great Britain is going fascist. Or non aligned or something. Alright. Just a little entente. French commies take power. Okay, the commies are there. Um, why not? So, I'm not going to suffer any supply issues or anything like this. That would be quite unfortunate. Just some basic air stuff. Um, yeah. Because you want to get here. One of the following for the king and prince the rule of the northern sea. Where is that? For the king and prince. Oh, it's over here. And we need to do power of the royal guard. Or rule of the northern sea, which we can't do. So we need this one. Power of the royal guard. Hans Majestic Kongren Guard. Our beloved king's own royal guard has consistently been the best trained and most resolute fighting force in the realm. The inspiration they draw from our king and his region is palpable. So they must lead the charge of our army and will be the tip of the lance that will crush our foes. So that's not bad overall, but still. Still. Uh, I've got 30 days left of that. Ah, my bad. And we do have total support for the monarchy 12 out of 30, which is good for us too. Mm -hmm. And one division here for now, which is fine. We're not mobilizing, but we're getting 300 weekly manpower, which is pretty decent too. You, uh, winner expert, improvisation expert, whatnot. Kingdom of Norway, huh? What's the point of the facade of democracy? Now that the distorting is finally dissolved, our kingdom can flourish under the benevolent hand of our king and the righteous fist of our Lord Regent Peter Anker of Edel's Jarlsberg. Let's see how far we go with this campaign. You never know. As much as I do under research funding, um, we definitely gotta do this one next. Happy 1937. Instruction speed, yes. Good. Trucks. We did earlier. And then for King and Prince. Our King Hakon and his son, Prince Olav, are an inspiration for every Norwegian. We must remind our soldiers that every step forward, every enemy killed, and every litter of blood shed are not in vain. It is all for our royal family and the nobles of uh, the Kingdom of Norway and what they shall represent. What division, defense, recovery rate, organization. So that'll be pretty good to get to. Oh, what's going on now? Oh, the secret Soviet, Soviet war. Uh, man, that's old. We've done that before, but still. No, we don't have that one. Anymore. Engines. Maybe someday we'll have an Air Force. Dawn of the Soviet bloc. Basic carrier planes. Probably not carrier planes. This stuff wouldn't be bad. We have nothing here to really research it with. Prop the economy. Oh, that'd be good. Which right now. Hard 30. So it's looking better. More consumer goods. Not much more, but it's still more. 27 days. I wouldn't mind to improve worker conditions too. Oh. Oh, there goes the 300 weekly manpower. Where, where did it go? Oh, okay. Currently, the rule party is democratic. Okay, so, well, then in the future, well, I will not, I'll never take that. 
That was a waste of political power. Good to know, though, for the, for the future. Hmm. Daily support for underlying goes up. Interesting. Encourage recruitment, research funding. Invite Cadillac to Norway. Eh? I'm making a decent amount of artillery. I always go with superior firepower. I kind of want to do that, dude. But grand battle plan? Hmm. Integrate support. Because I don't want recon. It gives 5% more soft attack. We'll see. Because I do want to throw on artillery on guys, anyways. See probably the kind of remove the hard 30s and gets more weekly stability as well. So kinda of have to do that. Engines nice. Probably need some sort of weapons too, you know. Air defense, reliability, reliability, air defense, max speed, range. Um this is for carrier stuff. Well. It probably also won't even matter in the end. Probably not going to use carriers, just saying. No guarantee, we might, but still. Shield of the North. What is a sword if you don't wield it? What if it? What if a shield if it... Well, what is a shield if it won't protect the subjects under it? A royal family must protect not only the kingdom of Norway, but the kingdoms and lands that are by duty theirs. Even if not necessarily de jure. We get six military factories, four naval dockyards, 20% more stability, and we get the Northern League. Complete the focus form of the Northern League. Royal claims. Bring back Quisling. Ovhona. Ovhona, huh? Interesting. And looks like the colony of the UK want to break apart. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we have some real interesting buffs. 50% more organization is pretty good. Defense against major nations, naval defense. Oh, uh, consumer goods factories f factor. Division recovery, more division defense. Not more attack, but defense. Interesting. Oh, that was really fast. That was a really fast Soviet Union war. Holy crud. So this is maybe a bad idea, but I kind of want to see what we're going to go with Grand Battle. But I'll go with that one for now. And on these infantry divisions, we're going to go and throw on and support Artie. Just go ahead. Take it. Use it. Run with it. Uh, more research speed, yes, please. Good. Doing all this here, nice, nice, nice. Um, would like to go to par partial mob if we can. Thirty-eight. Uh, how about here first, just because I want us to get the first. Oh. Light MGs. Uh, dive brakes. I'll get better engines first. No, that's naval aircraft, huh? Poland's in Civil War too. Look at that. So we have the Axis. We've got the Czech Entente, Little Entente, with Yugoslavia, not France, because the French are communists. Uh, look at those guys. Commonwealth of Nations. Interesting. Shield of the North. Nice. Our royal claims. We are fortunate in having such a humble king, one who denies any claims to our lands outside his current jurisdiction. We're lucky still to have our dear Count Peter Anker Avedo Zalzberg, who is willing to do what it takes to press these claims and bring them into our realm. Let us fight for our king's land. Oh, hello. Yeah, I should be doing that. Um. I mean, yeah. It's not like we can really make these planes any better. Not really. Electronics. Defense turrets. Do they even have any guns on here? Fighter weapons? I mean, I guess we could use these for now. We have no experience points, so there's no even point in even doing that. Guns are always nice. Get more arty, because I'll probably throw in some arty there too. We'll see. What divisions does Sweden have? Market access. Well, up to 26. They might have four. They might have more. They might have less. Interesting. So, what else do we have here? Mm -hmm. Dispo unaligned. Fascist lackey. I like this. 
Construction speed goes up too. And that's all we have. That's kind of sad. I wish we had more. What the heck? Industrial concerns. Hey, civilian factory construction speed more aluminum. Are we missing aluminum? No, we got more than enough aluminum. Or we get some daily army XP. I like the army XP. Uh, we have not. We do not have enough attack yet, so. Yeah, we need some more daily army XP. It is what it is, Northern League leader. That's a crap ton of political power. Holy crud. I like it. So, then what? Um, let's see what we can do about Sweden. Claims on Denmark. I don't think we can even invade Denmark, can we? No way demands territory from the Soviet Republic. Okay. Well then. Definitely an interesting path to take. Consolidate the kingdom. Claims on Faroe Islands. Uh... So let's say first and see what happens. If it doesn't go well, then we won't do this one. If it does do well, then good for us. As a result of past transgressions by the monarchies of Denmark and Sweden, the Faroe Islands have been denied to us. That ends now. Our noble ja Chamberlain will play the blood price and surely they return to us. I don't know. We'll see. 18 combo width is pretty decent overall. I wouldn't mind since we'll eventually need cavalry recon anyways. It gives you more soft attack for artillery line and support. Support and line. Do we have anti air? Yeah, we're making some, so we'll go ahead and throw that on there too. Of course, we need more manpower for this as well. Stability is pretty good overall. Um, infantry, I like that one. I wouldn't mind getting a partial mob as well, just to continue. Help with the consumer goods factor, make things faster. Uh, naval stuff wouldn't be bad, but air stuff is also very important. Bad weather penalty. Um, air accidents, chance of air experience gain. Kind of like this one. Now oh, using air experience too. Uh, 38. I'm going to grab this one. Oh, Denmark rejected our demands. The crown's prestige suffered great blows. Denmark is denied a rival territorial claims. The Santa amount to insult to the Norwegian crown should not be tolerated. They'll pay for the insolence. How big is their navy? Uh, could we navally invade? Are they guaranteed by anybody? Hmm. Well, they rejected us. What if we went and did Greenland? Claims on Sweden or Denmark. Denmark might be the land of our beloved king called home, but we know his true home was always Norway. Even before he was elected for the crown, regardless, we must bring his old country back into his realm. Perhaps it will motivate him to have a more active role in monarchy's government. Claims on Sweden. Unwillingly, our history and royal royalties have been tied to Sweden's. During that back and forth that lasted centuries, the Swedish stole vast tracts of land. Jamtland, Harjedalen, and Bohuslan. Well, the house of Bernadotte, Vasa, Oldenburg, or whatever else was to blame the matters not, we'll have a revenge and take our lands back. Well, um, I guess Sweden accepted our demands, Denmark didn't, but we have succeeded in showing the Swedish state that our claims are rightful, and so they've agreed to cede our lands, our claim lands, uh, to our crown. Welcome to the fold. This is disgusting. But, you know, we'll take it. Um, we're just gonna make sure our occupied territories have civilian oversight, and they're, uh, these guys. Because now we have no manpower, which kind of really sucks, but, you know, what else is new? It's almost as if you're playing like Old World Blues all the time. You have no manpower. You just get used to it. More daily command power would be nice. Improve working conditions, institute press censorship. Um, so right now instead, I went back and we're going to do research transport ships. I, I want more of Sweden. I wish these were cores though. It would be so helpful if these were cores. It's not funny. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to start uh, gearing up for us. And hopefully this doesn't go very poorly for us because that would really suck. Our navy should be stronger than theirs, but you never know. Um, I'm gonna have you, three horse boys, come down here too. Um, oh, you know what? Since we're here, I'm gonna improve relations with them too. They are not aligned like us. Nude Bach, huh? Danish industrial capabilities, neglected military, good. Oh, hello, Christian the Tenth. German Reich declared war on Czechoslovakia. Uh. They're guaranteed by... Well, the Axis might die here soon. And Denmark also accepts. Look at that. We've also showed... Skin showing the Danish state that claims rifle, and so they've ceded a claim 
Uh, to see our claim lands with a crown. Thanks and welcome to the fold. Swedish Danish states. Nordic unity. North Sea Empire. Well. Alright, well, we're two for three now. Claims of Denmark. What's this? Eric Radisland. The Hague's absurd decision in 1933 must be overturned. How dare they let the Kingdom of Denmark have the land that Eric the Red, a Norwegian, discovered a millennium back. Just a few years ago, we owned part of Greenland's east coast, but soon we'll take that and more. The Red legacies will continue when we take back what's ours. Um. All right, then. It's great that we got it. Swedish and Danish states. If we can take out Denmark, we can probably take out Sweden. But we're going to use the conscription level back up to here, so... Welcome to a limited conscription, because we have to have it. We have to. We just have to. Well, dude, if Germany can take out Czechoslovakia, and they don't lose here, that would make Germany extremely powerful on the Axis. Um, well, if they get Bulgaria, that'd be helpful, too. My gosh. Italian diplomatic isolation. Germany, please stop biting up more than you can chew. I don't want to fight a giant communist enemy. Oh god, they lost some soil. Alrighty, god dang it. Come on, guys. Uh, claims on Denmark. Denmark might have been our land or beloved king called home, but we all know his true home was always here in Norway. Uh, even before he was elected for the crown. Regardless, we must bring his old country into this realm. Perhaps that would motivate him to have a more active role in our monarchy's government. Yeah, we want them to love us. As we're mobilizing more so we can make more divisions here. God, come on. There you go. Our queen has died. While also on a visit to her family in England, she tragically died of heart failure in her sleep. Originally taught by Prince Maud of Wales, who Queen Consort of Norway, and not only survived by King Hakan and the Prince Olav, who were already on their way to England, but by all Norwegians, and she was beloved by all over the realm. What other tragedies can the future bring? That sucks. Shnikes! Well. Because I sent. Oh god, it's independent, huh? Oh, look at that. We got Greenland over here. Look at that. Um. Well, I guess just being nice sometimes pays off, you know. Kingdom of Scandinavia. Finnish and Icelandic Nordic unity. North Sea Empire. We need all the Danish states. And Skein and Bohuslian. And controls all English states. Well, that's going to be really freaking difficult. Now, that's something I was not expecting. The Swiss? They're democratic going to war with communists. Um, don't get me wrong. I'll, you love to see it, but still. Is this breakthrough production efficiency gain? Here. That's fine. We love you, Denmark. Oh, wow. They're actually doing really well here now. Denmark, we, we, we love you. So give up your life. And acquiesce to us. Christian X. Sovereign of Elefanto Dordenen. Oh, that's pretty good. Anglo-German. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well... If that's the case, we'll probably need to take out these guys first. Maybe get all of Finland under us first, maybe. And go to war with Great Britain. Oh, shnikes. That's not good. A naval guy, too, probably. Yeah. Let's go and grab the naval guy. They love us, right? They hold our core provinces, simulating parties, improve relations, that's always good. They're neutral, though. But how long can they become neutral? Bolivarian Alliance. Go home and repair. How long is it going to take repair? Ah, uh, a few days, that's pretty good. Okay, welcome to the fold. Fantastic. Iceland? 
Out of their disillusion, the Kalmar Union and Iceland was taken away from us unjustly. Despite the fact this was centuries ago, we have not forgotten this. Our Chamberlain, our King and Prince will not be asleep until this has been rectified and Iceland is once again part of the Kingdom of Norway. God, I just wish there was more we could do here. You know, we're going to save anyways because this was actually really good for us. Okay. I was expecting some sort of naval fight to happen, but uh, you know, if not, alright then. We do have some XP, so we can actually maybe create something here. Electronics, fighter, there you go. Something here. At the very least, get fighters, so this is going to be very interesting. Uh, we don't care about this stuff right now. And in all honesty, I don't want to even use you. Give me infantry divisions. Iceland, we love you. Please come back to us. You are our favorite p peoples. Um, I guess encourage recruitment. As the beloved Chamberlain likes to say, King Hakan lives in our hearts so anyone can fight and die for him. Let a spirit lift every subject in the Kingdom of Norway so they can enlist to fight for their liege. That'd be pretty nice to do. Uh, Ireland? What are you up to? Oh, great. Axis, Axis. Who, who do we hate more? Switzerland's doing very well. Oh my god, this is disgusting. I kind of want the chick on town to win, because I don't want to fight the Axis, because I Axis wants to fight these guys, and we have to fight them too. We need Britain in this one, god dang it. That's going to suck. But once we get manpower, this shouldn't be so bad. Once we've all Scandinavia under one banner, and have cores as well, that wouldn't be too bad. What do we got here? Um, artillery, production efficiency gain, production cost... I'm going to go with this one. I'm not sure which one's the best one. I'm just clicking all willy-nilly. So, yeah, there's that. Please let us get Iceland. That'd be so fantastic if we could actually get these. For some proving relations, that's good. Iceland, we love you. You love us. You know this. We all know this. Christian the 10th, huh? Do you have a unique focus tree? Oh my god. You do. What type of secret path is there for us to uh, play as these guys? Oh my god, what the heck. Because even Sweden gave in to us, too. Thanks, Edward Demands, too. Okay. Thanks, Asin. We appreciate it, you know. Um, Bjarmeland. Norwegian explorers for centuries expanded the boundaries of what's possible and reachable. One such case of Bjarmelan, which was first explored by Norwegians and is now out of our grasp. We must once again reach out and grab this land for our own. Soviet Union, we love you. Oh, Union of Soviet Social Republics, Ivan Smirnov. Cost to improve relations is higher. Oh. Polish People's Re Oh, hello. That's going to be a strong... Latvian People's Republic. A pretty strong uh, communist little block there. Wait, Mexico, what are you doing? Well, this is weird. Hey, historical is just so flippin' weird. Also, we need to get some subs, too. We need... We just need to go to War Sweden now. We only have... I thought we were supposed to get more uh, units in this. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough. You can sacrifice the north for all the southern states. That might be a goal plan to do that. Come on, god dang it. I think he wants to like right there, so. Construction speed, non aligned. Stability. Oh, well, look at that. Clueless Defense Minister. Not 
Nice. Oh wait, what did I do there? Oh god dang it. That screwed us up, my bad. My fault. Um, so... We need their... Template. Tiles. Because we got everything else. One tile, one should be good enough for there. Spread the map out through here too. Twenty-seven thousand. That's not good enough. Okay. We love you, Soviet Union. I'm not even sure how we're going to take out Sweden. Okay. We have succeeded in showing the Soviet state their claims rightful, and so they have agreed to cede their claims land to the crown. Would it make more sense to go to war with Finland first? Yeah, honestly, it might. It just might. Oh, look at this. Consulted the kingdom. Also, well, another gracious Marcus Peter Anker Vader Jalsberg, a royal chamberlain, and the right hand of her blood, Hakan VII, to expand the lands of her crown, must look inwards to consolidate her gains and rule over her subjects with a gilded and steady of a little stern hand. You know what? Let's do this one first. One, two, three, four, seven more states will become cores. Maybe they'll have enough manpower and then we can take out these guys, maybe? Because this is disgusting. I mean, I can't believe we got everything here. Just by being nice. And Turkey's doing the axis, okay. And the Swiss are taking over the lands of the French. The Brits are destroying the Irish. The Turks are and trying to invade the Middle East. And Greece. What a mess. Wow. This is weird that we don't have this group. If we take out Sweden, we definitely take out the Republic of Finland, but we need that those cores and manpower and everything like that, so let's see when we, what happens when we actually core everything. Might as well first, right? Can't deploy because we have no manpower. Because we can restore the Kalmar Union. And then we can proclaim North Unity, and then have the North Sea Empire because we're going to take out the Axis as well. Hello, Alpine Confederation, eh? Well, yeah, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Cannons. My God, and Czechoslovakia still holding on. Somehow, some way. Alright, we get a couple more cores. Oh, Poland. Nice. That's all the, the kingdom. Alright then. That's all the manpower we get. Nothing. 20,000 was it. Oh, crap. We got 20,000 more. Look at that. It's gone now. Hmm. I have to go back to the drawing board and think about how we're going to do this. We can sacrifice a lot of our country here for this. But... We don't have enough of anything. We could use these guys maybe instead. I might just go back and see what else we can do because... Uh, this ain't enough. We've gotten everything we've wanted so far. And I, I was hoping that this these cores would give us a little bit more manpower, but... Is this core states? These are core states too. Because these are core states as well. Holy crap. That's so weird to think about. Unless we want to go to war with Finland. Finland might be, honestly be easier to take out. A much wider border. Then again, they don't have that much manpower. They do have Sisu though, and they have a Finnish army, and this is insane what they get here. Sweden does not get anything like that, do they? Oh, look at this. Swedish risk. Sweden risk strikes or rides. The stability is under 65%, which it is. That's more than 40% civvies. Interesting. Your democracy support. 
We don't want them to join any other group. Recovery rate, hedgehog defense. Countrywide strikes, oh, that's good. Nice. Full chem out, so. Regardless, I think I'll, I think I'll end it there, and we'll see what happens in the next episode. I don't know. This has been very strange, trying to play as Monarchus Sweden. So, or, not Monarchus Sweden. Monarchus Norway. If you enjoyed the video, though, apparently, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see what else we can do with the Kingdom of Norway. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.